Hi everyone, welcome to this Species Center stage for Thursday, April 20th, 2023. This week we're doing Titanoboa, which is a prehistoric snake. It is no longer alive, it has gone extinct, and no, this is not a Titanoboa that I'm holding. This is a Titanopython. I'm just kidding. This is one of my Python Regis Hemmer, who came out of his enclosure and then got away from his exercise station and I had to go retrieve him. So he may or may not be in this entire video with me. Is Titanoboa the largest snake ever? Well, maybe I'm going to answer that in this presentation. This presentation was inspired by an elementary school student who was part of an after school herpetology program that I recently gave a talk for. He asked me about Titanoboa and all I could tell him was that Titanoboa is an ancient snake that's extinct and no longer living, and that it is the largest known snake in the fossil record. I felt bad that I didn't have more information than that for him, so I did a little research, and here's what I found out. I really found out that I loved this site, prehistoricwildlife.com. I had a lot of fun exploring this site, and they have a lot of cool information and photos about Titanoboa specifically. But I also wanted to mention this other resource, which is a book, and it is The Origin and Early Evolutionary History of Snakes. It was published by Cambridge Press, and it just came out in 2022. And if you really want to geek out about snake fossils, this is the book for you. Here's an example of something it says about Titanoboa. The book says on page 36, the oldest record of constrictors, Boidae and Pythonidae is Titanoboa serejonensis, represented by multiple incomplete partial skeletons from the middle Paleocene Serejon formation in Colombia. I paraphrase that a little bit. My presentation is not going to be as scientific as this book, but if you really dig this stuff, I recommend getting the book and I will put a link to where you can find it in the video description. Here are some fast facts that I learned about Titanoboa that I'm going to now share with you. It's the largest known snake in the fossil record. It is a non-venomous constrictor thought to be 13 meters or about 40 feet long, thought to weigh 1,135 kilograms or about 2,500 pounds, and its fossils have been found in northeastern Colombia. It's thought to have lived between 58 and 60 million years ago in neotropical forest habitat. And these fossils were found in something called the Serajon Formation. We'll talk more about that soon. So things that are about 13 meters or 40 feet long that I was able to find are half of a basketball court, half of a tennis court, seven average people if they're laying on the ground head to foot in a line, a school bus, the Hollywood sign, if you're familiar with what that is in the state of California here in the United States, that's pictured here. And then of course, Titanoboa. Things that I was able to find that weigh about 1,100 kilograms or 2,500 pounds, but actually closer to only 2,000 pounds, which is a ton, are an average trash dumpster, a rhinoceros, a pontoon boat, which is pictured right here, an American bison, that's a buffalo, bear, moose, and then titanoboa, which was actually more than a ton. This graphic is from prehistoricwildlife.com. I really, again, recommend that you check this site out, but it is a reconstruction based on an original paper that was published in 2009, um, estimating the size and length of titanoboa, and they're showing it here in relation to what it would look like if a human being was standing next to it. It is pretty cool, except I wouldn't want to be that person next to an actual Titanoboa, especially not if it had its mouth open like that. So what's the Satterhorn Formation? I said I was going to talk more about that. It's a geologic formation, and it's located in Colombia. That's in South America. There's a large coal reserve there of up to about 5 billion tons of coal, and it was formed during the Paleocene epoch between 60 and 65 million years ago. It consists of sedimentary rocks, sandstone, shales, and coal seams that were deposited in what used to be a river delta. And it contains lots and lots of fossils. It's really rich in fossil plants and animals, including insects and vertebrates like crocodiles, turtles, and early mammals. 
And one of the famous fossils recovered from here, you guessed it, is the giant snake Titanoboa. If you really want to learn more about this and other snake fossils, I recommend you check out these resources. If you are into scientific geekery and you want to look at peer-reviewed scientific journal articles about Titanoboa, I have highlighted three here with a little green bracket that you could Google or go into Google Scholar and put the author's names and titles in and find. And then if you just want some more fun articles that might be easier to read for the average person, go under where I've highlighted with the yellow bracket because these are other resources. The information is still good and I had a lot of fun reading and looking at these. The first one is the Smithsonian Magazine. It's an article called How Titanoboa, the 40 foot long snake was found. And there's a link to it here, but you could also Google this. And this photograph here is actually of a life size sculpture. I think it's life size at the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History that someone did of Titanoboa and what it likely looked like. Because remember that our information is based only on partial fossils, we don't actually have a whole animal. And then the next website that I have here is prehistoricwildlife.com, which I really thought was cool and I recommend you check it out. And then I found this neat blog called Natural Selections Blog. And there was an article called The Ecological Importance and Awesomely Gigantic Reptiles of the Cerrojón Formation. And I found information about Titanoboa there along with some pictures. Everybody, thank you so much for joining me again and learning and uh, for joining Himmer. And until next time, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.